The objectives in this module are to demonstrate the proper connecting and disconnecting of the handpiece, to select the appropriate tip for the patient's clinical condition, to set the color matched power setting for the tip selected, and to adjust the amount of water flow unique to the piezo. The Neutron Piezo Ultrasonic Scaler has three unique features. You'll be using the lateral sides of the tip, very much like a universal curette that has two lateral surfaces. And similarly, you will not be using the back of the piezo, just like you do not use the back of a universal curette. The tilt off the tooth is zero to five degree angle. If you learned first on Magneto or Cavitron type system, that typically uses a 15 degree tilt. So you'll want to close your angle to zero to five when you're using Neutron Piezo. There's drop by drop water irrigation, and that's because the crystals in the handpiece that create the energy and the motion of the tip do not create very much frictional heat. Therefore, you do not need as much water as you do with the magneto type systems with the ferromagnetic stacks that do require more water in order to cool the stacks. When you receive your kit, you should make sure that the gray nose cone is attached. If it's not, simply put the gray nose cone on, screwing it onto the handpiece. The next step is to connect the handpiece to the cable. You'll see a dot on the handpiece and a dot on the cable. And it's simply a matter of pushing the two dots together. So you should not twist or turn it, just simply connect the dots. Now you're ready to make your tip selection and that should be based on the patient's clinical condition and their disease status. So you will be using your digital imaging, and you're charting for the patient in order to determine their diagnosis and their health or disease status. In particular, the amount of bone loss, the available route to instrument, the tissue tone and distension, and of course, the amount of deposit that needs to be removed. Whether using magnetostrictive or piezoelectric, there's only one rule in ultrasonic therapy, is that you should never put the direct point into the tooth surface. In your kit, you have four tips, the H3, the number one, the number one S, and the 10Z. We'll now take a look at each of these tips and relate it to the clinical uh, purpose that you would use those tips. The H3 tip is on, used on green low power. You'll note that it has a green ring. The great thing about the neutron system is that the color-coded rings tell you the maximum power. The H3 is an excellent tip to start using piezo for new clinicians. It looks the most like a universal curette and we can transfer our skills of using a universal curette like a Columbia 1314 or a Barnhart 5.6 or a 4R4L in using the lateral surfaces and not using the back of the curette. It does, however, have beveled lateral edges, so it's an excellent tip for calculus removal. Because of the straight design of the shank, it's designed for the anterior, and you can start to practice using piezo on the anterior teeth. If you do proceed to the premolars or the molars, you may notice that your fulcrum may change or that you may have um, a, a difference in having your elbow raised or your shoulder raised which is of course not the best ergonomics. There are mates that go with the H3 and that would be the H4R and the H4L for posterior teeth. But for the purposes of using piezo as a beginning clinician with piezo technology, the H3 is an excellent tip to select. The next two tips in your kit are the number one and the number one S or slim tip. Both of these tips can be used on high power on the blue setting. With the power settings, the color ring indicates the highest level power that can be used for that tip. You can always go lower. So for example, if the patient does not have anesthesia and they're experiencing any sensitivity, you can always turn the power down. And by turning the power down, you're decreasing the length of the stroke. 
The shape of the number one and the number one S are very similar in their geometry. However, the number one S is thinner and longer than the number one tip. It has superior amplitude and power, and it can be used on the blue high power setting. It can always go lower, but the maximum power is blue. It's a great instrument to use to gain access subgingively. And because it can be used on high power, it's very efficient at calculus removal. Next in your kit is the 10Z. You'll note that it has periodontal probing, so it could be used for patients that have higher levels of disease or for patients who have tissue that does not easily distend and the thinness of the tip is excellent to gain subgingival access. The system that you're using is the ADEX, ADEX 532B delivery system. We'll go into detail on the water adjustment uh, features as well as the touch screen. The water adjustment is on the side of the delivery unit and each of the knobs corresponds to a position on the tray. The beauty of this upgraded 532B delivery system is that when you lift the handpiece of the piezo scaler out of the tray holder, it, the buttons on the side or rather the knobs on the side will be illuminated by a blue LED light so you'll know exactly which knob you want to adjust. To increase the water, you'll simply turn the knob to the left to increase the water to the handpiece. It also has a touch screen, and on this touch screen, you will note that there are a plus and a negative sign, and that can adjust the power setting by turning the power up or decreasing the power. And it's matched to the color ring on the tip. There's also a memory feature so that you can automatically go to a particular setting, and that will be described in more detail in an ADAC training um, module either in person or uh, via webinar. One of the ways to turn the water onto the entire system would be to flip the switch on the rheostat and uh, on the toggle switch. This can also be done by utilizing the touch screen. There's a function on that as well, but you'll want to make sure that the system does have water available to it. So the power setting is adjusted using the plus and minus. So low power would be for your H3. Green ring tips always only are used in the green power range. Medium power is yellow. High power for your one, your 1S and your 10Z would be the blue ring. And just remember, you can always go lower if needed. An example of what this looks like on the power control is that when you lift the handpiece out, of the holder, the, um, the middle section will go from the word ADAC to the, um, the power setting. So in this situation, you can see that this is 80% and the word blue is stated on the screen. This happens when you lift the handpiece from the holder and it's displayed in the percentage and the name of the color. To adjust it, you either plus or minus to reach the match power for that color ring. The green ring tip is always only in green power range, and the blue ring tips can go lower but should never go higher into the orange range. So let's take a look at setting up the piezo unit. So the clinician is doing a demonstration here. Of course, you would be wearing personal protective equipment, Just snapping the handpiece dot to dot. Now applying the tip. The tips are in the wrench, turning, pressing, and very carefully removing the wrench as to not bend the tip. Now taking a look at the water adjustment, you'll go to low power regardless of the color of the tip. You'll adjust the knob and on your systems it may be a different knob, but by adjusting this system, drop by drop flow in low power now we have we're using a blue ring tip so now we go to the power setting so 
So a rapid drip flow. This concludes the second module of piezo power scaling.